New tonight at 6, flu season's here. In fact, 12 North Alabama counties have already reported cases, but this season doctors will battle a complication, the mysterious lung illness linked to vaping. Way 31's Megan Reyna has a warning tonight from the medical community. Brandon Wilson says he vaped for two years on a regular basis. But just two months ago, when vaping related deaths and illnesses started to make headlines, Wilson decided that was enough for him to stop. Um, I don't think that I'll use it again until it's either deemed safe for us or they tell us that, you know, we shouldn't use them at all. And he's not alone in the ditching efforts. I have in the past. Um, it's not something that I would. Consciously make a habit for myself. Auburn professor and Dr. Linda Gibson Young has been researching the effects of electronic cigarettes for two years now. What we're doing is we're stopping the body from being able to respond appropriately. She says since vaping causes a thick mucus in the lungs, it makes it difficult for the body to get rid of a virus or bacteria. And that doesn't allow these infections to be inhaled and then exhaled through a sneeze or exhaled through a cough. Young adds even just placing a vaping device on a counter or a bar exposes users to infections. While the flu season isn't anywhere near its peak in North Alabama, doctors are on standby prepared to see severe cases. So if you've got some lung damage from vaping and then you add the flu on top of it, which is a respiratory infection and goes to the lungs, I would see, I think you would potentially be much sicker. People I talked to said it's not hard to believe there's a correlation and a nasty season could be ahead. You're already damaging your lungs by using those, then I think you'd be more susceptible to getting the flu. Dr. Platt says prevention is pretty simple quit vaping and make an appointment at your neighborhood clinic to get your flu shot. Reporting in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News. North Alabama is already seeing more cases than normal. Take a look at this map from the Alabama Department of Public Health. North Alabama is light blue, which means there have been lab-confirmed cases of the flu within the last three weeks.